We're backstage with Tony Ferguson, who's got that gold belt over his shoulder. Tony, this was the goal. You said you were going to do it. Tell me about your performance and how you feel that you actually defeated Kevin Lee and when you knew it was going to happen. Uh, the game plan was to make him tired, just to him off so much that he was going to use all that aggression and uh, catch him in a submission. Yeah, well, you certainly did just that. Let's talk about the first round. Um, did you feel like you had won that round? We have not seen the official scorecards yet, but if you were judging it, how would you look at it? Uh, it was kind of hard to go. I just like I said, I, I wasn't going to chase him. I wasn't going to get sucked into a takedown. Uh, unfortunately, I got poked in the eye. You know, it got me a little f off. But I composed myself in the corner. My coach, uh, Coach Billy, was like, "Compose yourself." I did it. We breathed through it, uh, and I really just resulted to my training, uh, strict training. Uh, established the jab. I should have doubled up. Uh, a couple more things I got to work on. But I really worked heavy on my submission game, and I knew exactly that uh, you can't talk about my submission league, man. No gi submissions all day, Ten Planet. Yeah, that was absolutely a very impressive performance. He hit you with some late shots after that first bell. What is your reaction to that? He hit me with some late shots? Late shots. Oh, late shots? Ah, it's a fight, man. It's, it is what we did, what it is. Uh, honestly, I, I knew it was going to be a scrap. I knew it was going to be a barn burner. And I hope the fans got exactly what they wanted. And I'm uh, coming after Connor. That's what's up. I know we'll talk about Connor McGregor in a second. But did you think that Kevin Lee was as tough as you had hoped he would be? Absolutely. Uh, coming from the same school, I knew he was one. I knew he wasn't going to miss weight. He's a gamer. Two, I knew he was going to be off. All that aggressiveness, I used that same kind of mentality when I lost against Michael Johnson. I'm a veteran in the sport. I'm very experienced. I knew to weather the storm. Uh, I had enough hay in the barn to last me all winter. So, uh, I mean, Brock was right, man. It's the calm before the storm. And all my coaches, they, uh, they really helped prepare for me to get this point. And I, I allowed myself to be coached in this uh, camp. And uh, we got the victory. Certainly did. It's been a long road for you, though, Tony. I mean, you had so many wins in a row, and then you had the fight in March canceled. Now you're fighting here, but I can't imagine that that was an easy process. How did you stay calm and motivated through the entire thing? I surrounded myself around good people. Um, I enjoyed the process. I had a lot of fun, a lot of active rest, uh, a lot of falling on my longboard and just different <laughs> random stuff just to keep me busy. And uh, it was the best thing, honestly. It probably kept me the most humble. Uh, it was a blessing in disguise. You mentioned Conor McGregor, so let's bring him up. When would you like to unify these belts? Well, the dude's only got a certain amount of time before he has to vacate, so the sooner the better. Do you feel healthy after this fight? I'm good to go. I got no known problems with me right now. And I just got a couple things I got to work with. I'm going to go with my team, every one of them, and we're going to establish a, a nice little conversation, and uh, we're going to come together as a team, and uh, we're going to figure it out. Excellent. We are so looking forward to seeing you back in that octagon. Congratulations. Much deserved, Tony. Thank you very much. Thank you.